Hi everyone, it's Fraser from Momax Chester here, another quick video tour. So I have the exciting chance to show you around this 2016 Peugeot 3008. These are wonderful SUVs, they're jam-packed full of specs and kit. Quite reliable and very comfortable, fantastic performance all around. This one's quite unique with the gold stylings as well, you don't see too many like these on the road. These are wonderful little cars. It's certainly quite unique and I'll show you a few of those features that make it unique later. But jumping straight in. You'll see the stylings. There's a lovely, almost cockpit-like aesthetic to the, uh, the driver's seat, which I'm a very big fan of. Overall, it's all very spacious. It's very stylish. Half leather interior. It's very comfortable. Tons of headroom and tons of legroom, as you expect. There's a panoramic sunroof as well, so we'll get that pulled up. Behind the rear privacy glass as well. You can see a ton of space. Room for up to three passengers, of course. It's very easy with those isofix uh, anchor points there to get child seats in. You can see tons of room all around, beautiful half leather, very comfortable. Coming around to the back, this is the blue HDI model, you might be able to see from the badge there. Just means a few more specs and bits of kit in here. Lifting up into this boot, we'll see there's an absolute ton of space here, and of course you can fold back those rear seats should you wish to do so. And of course it extends outwards here, like a shelf making it easier to load up heavy goods. So you want to get your dirty boots off, you can sit on here. You can support quite a lot of weight, it's quite sturdy. So you're going out for a picnic, going out camping, this thing does absolutely wonders. Going out for a walk, you've got the dog with you, it should do hold up very nicely. Finally, for the fun part, I'll show you this cockpit I was going on about. Definitely one of my favorite features. So of course, like you'd expect, you have your mirror window control, nothing too exciting. But as we find ourselves in the stop-stop system, I notice nicely panelled off on the side. And as we start her up, I'll show you perhaps one of my favourite features of these Peugeots. So we've got the key in the side, like always. This is an automatic, it's just flip down on the brake to start up. But we'll see. Not only does that flip up, but our speedometer is projected onto this glass panel. Makes you feel like you're a fighter jet pilot and that's your targeting vehicle. Honestly, I'm a very big fan of it. It's very unique. I don't see many cars like it. I'll just turn down the volume there so you can hear me. But yeah, it's a very unique, stunning feature. It doesn't show up too well on the photo, but I can tell you now it's very clean and easy to read while you're driving as well. So you've got your digital dash with all its handy features, just slightly over 33 and a half thousand miles. So, it's in relatively good condition and all. And it even tells you how many miles per gallon you're averaging, how long you've got to your next petrol stop, all that good stuff. Now, cruise control can be found just under here. Just along with, obviously, your lights and your, your wipers. It's all very straightforward and easy to use, and I quite like that. I don't like when they're overly convoluted, so it's nice having a car that makes it all easy. So, of course, we have extra controls here, including our parking sensors, you can configure on and off. You've seen the sat nav display come up to life. Of course, this is also a multimedia display. It's quite nice having it out of the way. And of course, it's Bluetooth capable, like you'd expect. And it can all be easily adjusted. There's a CD player, you can do your track selection. You can switch between all your hotkeys. So obviously it's on navigation at the moment. We could go onto our phone and set up our Bluetooth phone and go onto music. And that changes the media. So you can put in for your aux cords and whatnot. There's dual zone climate control on this car. So both the driver and the front passenger can change it to their own preferences without affecting the other. Say I might prefer my side to be quite warm and so my partner, maybe they want the car a bit colder. You can certainly do so without affecting the other. It means there's no more arguments when you're driving on those hot or cold days. Very nice. And of course you can even change where the fans play from. It's all very adaptable, very nice. The electronic, uh, or sorry, the automatic gearbox very easy to adjust. If I want to pop it into reverse, simply pop the stick down and it slides right into place. Definitely very easy and nice to use. Pop it down into neutral just below. And obviously if you want to go off, we just do so here. I have got my foot on the brakes so the car isn't moving. And as well as that, we have got the electronic parking brake on. To say I want to adjust the gears manually, I can do so by pushing up or back on the stick. Otherwise, it'll do it electronically, which is quite nice. Of course, when I put it into reverse as well, you'll see we have our reversing camera as well if the guidelines come to life, and that will adjust as you turn the wheel. Very nice. 
I'll pop it back into park now so the car doesn't jolt if I take my foot off. With a 12 volt port there, additional cup holder space. And underneath the armrest, we have a huge amount of storage space. Clean adjustable little pads as well, you can move around and adjust it just how you like it. So you can actually store a huge amount on this. Very practical. We'll get this sunroof open so you can see some of that just by pushing on here. I do say I am quite uh, quite vulnerable to a good sunroof. I do love a good sunroof and this is an excellent panoramic roof all round. Let's in a lot of airness. And obviously, as we turn off the car, it's just as stylish when all the systems were tracked. I open the door. Very futuristic in style. Now, sadly, that's all I've got time for on today's quick video tour. So for more information on the car, you can go onto the Auto Trader listing. You can find that in the YouTube video description. Or you can go on our website at www.maymatch.com to find out not only more about this car, but the many more we have just like it across all of our sites. That's all from me. I hope you have a great day. Cheers.